Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to make this digger. I'll be making it in wool today, but you could use four ply crochet cotton and make a smaller one. I'll be using eight ply wool today, which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got yellow for my main colour, black for the wheels, and I've got grey for the centre of the wheel. You only need a tiny bit of grey. I've got my sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. I've got my scissors. I'll be using a 2.5mm crochet hook. And I've got a darning needle to weave in my ends. Now I'll start with the body of the digger. So using my main colour, I start with 18 chain. For row one, I miss the first two chain and I work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet, we put our yarn around our hook, we put our hook into the stitch, so this will be the th third stitch from the hook, and we bring up a loop yarn around and bring it through our stitch and we've got three loops on our hook. Then we put our yarn around and we take it through all the loops. That's a half double crochet. So we need to work a half double crochet into each stitch. So yarn around our hook, hook in through the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around our hook and then our hook with our yarn through all the loops on our hook. And we repeat that into each stitch across. Now I've completed row one, I've worked my one half double crochet into each stitch. Rows two to four I work the same. We start with two chain and we turn and we work one half double crochet into each stitch. So this is our first stitch here, just near our chain and then we just Continue across working one half double crochet into each stitch.
Now this is our last stitch here, just in there. If we miss that stitch, it won't be, we won't have our straight sides. Now we need to work two more rows the same as our last row. So two chain and turn and one half double crochet into each stitch across. So I'll work these two rows and I'll be back and I'll show you how to do the neatening row. Now I've finished my four rows for the body. Now we're going to work a neatening row right around our piece of work. So we start with one chain and we work a single crochet into each of the stitches on the sides and the bottom and top but into each corner stitch we work a single crochet, a chain and a single crochet. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet we put a hook in through the next stitch and bring up a loop, put our yarn round our hook and take our hook and yarn through both the loops. So we need a single crochet into each stitch down the side. We just try to find a suitable place to put our hook into near the edge of our work. When we get to the corner stitch we work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then we'll work a single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. In our corner stitch we work a single crochet, a chain and a single crochet. That just gives us a nice corner and then we work a single crochet into each stitch up the side. I'm going to crochet in the tail so I'm crocheting over the top of it, holding in against my work and crocheting over the top of it. And into the corner stitch we work a single crochet, a chain and a single crochet. And then a single crochet into each stitch along the top.
And that's the body part done. With sharp little scissors, I'll just snip off any of the bits of the tail that are poking through. Now I'll start on the cap now. I turn my work and I slip stitch back two stitches. A slip stitch for a slip stitch. I put my hook into the stitch and bring up a loop and then take it straight through the loop on my hook. So hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. Now I'm going to start on the cab. I work 15 chain for the top of the cab. I've got my 15 chain. Now into the sixth stitch from where I started the chain, I'm going to join with a slip stitch. So this stitch here, I put my hook into that stitch, bring up a loop, and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And I've got my part for the cab. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. And then turn my work and for around the cab I'm going to work half double crochet. So into the first four stitches I work one half double crochet. Uh, one half double crochet into the first four chain. To make the corner section, we're going to work three half double crochet into the one stitch. So that's three half double crochet into the next stitch. For along this top part, we work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. For the next corner, we work three half double crochet into the next stitch. And then down the side, we work one half double crochet into each stitch. There should be four stitches left. And then we slip stitch into the stitch at the back, this first stitch here. And that's the cab done. Now we'll start with this back arm. So we start with 10 chain. We miss the first two chain and we work one half double crochet into each of the next two chain.
Then we work one double crochet into each of the following two chain. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet we put our yarn around our hook, we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, put our yarn around the hook and take our hook with our yarn through two loops and then yarn around our hook and take our hook and yarn through the other two loops. That's a double crochet or a treble in the UK. So yarn around our hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around our hook, take our hook with our yarn through the two loops, yarn around our hook and take our hook with our yarn through the remaining two loops. Next for this bend we're going to work four treble into the next stitch. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put our yarn around our hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around our hook, take it through the first two loops, yarn around our hook, take it through two more loops and yarn around our hook and take it through the last two loops. So we need four treble into this same stitch. Now we work one treble into each of our remaining stitches. And then we bend our work down and we slip stitch into the stitch where our work joins to. Just like that and then we fasten off. So cut your yarn and pull it through the loop. And that's the body, the cab and the back arm done. Now we're going to start on this back end arm. So we join our yarn in the first stitch at the bottom back, that stitch there. And we work 10 chain. We miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each of our remaining chain. And then we slip stitch into the next stitch at the bottom of our 
back um, just in there and fasten off. And it will just bend down that way. We'll start on the funnel now. So we join our yarn three stitches in from the front of the body. This stitch here. And we work four chain. We miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each of the other three chain. And slip stitch into the next stitch on the body. and fasten off. For this front arm, we join our yarn to the bottom stitch at the front of our body. And we work 10 chain. We miss the first two chain and we work one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So miss two and one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then we join with a slip stitch, three stitches up from where our chain is. So this stitch here. And fasten off. And that's all the bits of the body done. For the inner wheel, using my grey, I make a magic loop. For a magic loop, I put my hook on my yarn with the short end at the top and I bring the short end over and then take my long end over the short end to make a circle and then I bring a loop through my circle and that's a magic loop. Similar to when I start my chain and then I start with one chain and I work seven half double crochet into my circle. There's my seven half double crochet and then I take hold of the tail and I ease the circle in as tight as I can and I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here and fasten off.
and I need another one so I make a magic loop again and start with one chain and work seven half double crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. Now I'll weave in the ends of the centre of my wheels. I'll also weave in the ends of the body of the digger and I'll be back. Now for the outside of the wheel we join our yarn in any stitch on the inner wheel and we work one chain and work a half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then work two half double crochet into each of our remaining stitches. and then join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch for the second row of the outer wheel we start with two chain and work a double crochet in the same place as the chain and then work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as a double crochet. This just makes the wavy edge. If you wanted to you could just make a flat edge by working two double crochet in each stitch or for the wheels you could even use buttons if you'd prefer. Now you work a double crochet into the next stitch two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch and we're going to repeat that all the way around a double crochet into the next stitch two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch
and we're getting a nice wavy edge. So I'll just finish around the wheel and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the top of our first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the first wheel done. The second wheel has worked the same. We join in any stitch. And work one chain. Work a half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. And then work two half double crochet into each stitch. Join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For the next row, we start with two chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain. And then work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as our double crochet. Then we work a double crochet into the next stitch. Two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the double crochet and we repeat that all the way around. A double crochet in the next stitch and two chain and slip stitch into that same stitch. So I'll finish this wheel and I'll be back and we'll do these little joiners and the steering wheel. And there's the second wheel done. These joiners, using my black, I make a magic loop and start with one chain and work four single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. And I'll just embroider a little grey dot in the centre when, when I'm making it up. You could use a little button for the joiners if you'd prefer. So the other one's made the same. You make a magic loop. Work one chain and four single crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight. and slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off
Now for the steering wheel, it's a bit tricky so you could leave it off. You join your black cotton in that corner stitch in the front of the cab. And work one chain. Pull the loop loose and cut your yarn but don't fasten it off. Then we miss one stitch in the corner and join our black wool to the next stitch. And work one chain and then work a slip stitch through the loop and then pull the loop tight Work one more chain and slip stitch into the side of the cab. and fasten off. And that's the steering wheel done. For the buckets, they both work the same. Using the main colour, we start with seven chain. We miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain. For row two, we start with one chain and we turn and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. We put our hook into the second stitch and bring up a loop. Put our yarn around our hook and take it through all the loops. And there's our joined single crochet. Now we work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and our hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around our hook and take a hook with our yarn through all the loops. For row three we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now we're going to do a neatening row, but we're going to turn our work first. So we do work one chain and turn our work and work a single crochet into each of our stitches. And 
and then work one chain and a single crochet into that same stitch and then work a single crochet into each stitch down the side. Into our corner stitch we work a single crochet, a chain and a single crochet. Now to get these little wavy pieces for the teeth we work two chain and work a single crochet into the next stitch in each stitch across the top. So two chain and then a single crochet into the next stitch. Into the corner stitch we work a single crochet, one chain and a single crochet and then work a single crochet into each stitch down the side. and then slip stitch into our first stitch and fasten off. And the second bucket has worked the same. We start with seven chain We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of our remaining chain. For row two we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over our first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. This wool splitting terribly today. And for row three, we start with one chain and turn and work. A joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And for our neatening row we start with one chain and turn. We work a single crochet into each of the first two stitches then work one chain and work a single crochet into the same stitch as our last single crochet. 
then work a single crochet in each stitch up the side into the corner stitch we work a single crochet a chain and a single crochet and along the top we work two chain and a single crochet into each stitch so two chain and a single crochet In the corner stitch we work a single crochet, a chain and a single crochet. And then a single crochet into each stitch down the side. and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off now that's all our pieces crocheted I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together now there's all my pieces with the ends finished off. The first thing I'll do is embroider on these little grey dots on the joining pieces and I'll also attach the buckets. The one for the front goes just in like that and the back one bends down and goes just on that arm there, just like that. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back. Now the next thing I do is attach the wheels to the body. They go just about there. They go over the front and back a little bit and try to get them as even as possible. The last thing I do is attach the joiners one at the join of the back arm and the back end arm, just in there, and the other one at the join of the back end arm and the bucket, just in there. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished digger. And there's the finished digger. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have all my patterns and the details of my new Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.